Ma Haley Bailey's 22 years old. She's got her degree from Oklahoma State University as well. Just like her mom and her sister. And uh, she graduated last May and she needs a job. <laughs> now, I, I gotta get that kid off the payroll soon, man. And, Cause it's gonna be hard to marry that one off cause the guy's gotta fall all over their forehead. <laughs> See, you're judging and you don't even know. She's, she's probably the prettiest one out of the litter. She truly is. Uh, but we gave her a cell phone way too early, right? She, yeah, her sister got one at 16. She got one on the same day at 13. As a daddy, I was opposed to it. And now I haven't seen two of her eyes since, y'all. They've just been buried down in that phone. I figure the guy's got to walk into a bar and go, look at the forehead on that one. Dude, check out her thumbs. They are huge. Now, I bet they're fake. <laughs> Pixar joke number one, if you keep it up. <laughs> and then my youngest daughter, that's my Audie Gray show, and she is 12. <laughs> I got a 31, 28, 26, 22, and 12. <laughs> I have four that completed college and one that completed the sixth grade. <laughs> You know what that's like? That's like one entire marathon. You get to the finish line, somebody stretches out the yellow tape and then goes, dude, don't hit that, that ain't for you. <laughs> you hop in the truck, we gonna take you back to the starting gate. <laughs> we won't go back to the starting gate. Molly Grace is only, she, she was named class president last year, sixth grade class president. Yeah, <laughs> The very first day in office, she erased all of her emails and built a wall between them and the fifth graders. <laughs> Got the fourth grade to pay for it. <laughs> then she ran into a little scandal. She had kissed a boy in second grade and been paying him off since. <laughs> If you guys got cable, that joke would rock. <laughs> Molly Grace is something. She's the only one I ever had to go to the schoolhouse over. I'm not saying my other four kids are perfect angels. I'm just saying they never got caught and got their daddy involved in the thing, right? <laughs> Third grade, I get called to her classroom, walk into her little classroom, and her teacher looks at me and goes, do you realize your daughter is a class clown? <laughs> I got a tear in my eye, you know? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> the other four are really smart. Finally, one of them falling in her daddy's footsteps. <laughs> Teacher didn't find anything funny about it. She said that young lady needs to take her education more seriously. I said, all right, back up, Lee Harvey. I'll talk to her. Uh, I'm not being overly critical, but if you're yelling at her like you are at me, somebody needs to work on their people skills. <laughs> I got, I got out in the hallway, and Audie Grace had these crocodile tears in her eyes, and she's my favorite. By far, she is my favorite. I know you always wonder if your mom and daddy got a favorite. By far, they got a favorite, yeah. And if you're wondering who it is, it ain't you. Because the favorite knows who the favorite is, that's right. All my kids know that kid's my favorite. I walked out in that hallway, she had them tears in her eyes. She said, you mad at me, daddy? I said, no, girl, get in the truck. We going for ice cream, you hear me? Get in the truck. <laughs> we got to the Brahms ice cream store by the house. She just licking on that ice cream. She said, you really ain't mad at me, daddy? I said, no, you don't listen, old lady. You keep telling your jokes. You'll get you a good job working 30 minutes a night somewhere. You hear me, young? <laughs> The two oldest kids get mad at me most of all, though. They really do. They're like, Daddy, you spoil her. You never spoiled us. I said, well, let's look at the facts. I, I had Audie Grace when I was 36 years old. I said, Brittany, I had you when I was 19. You two people ought to be happy you are alive. <laughs> Especially Brittany. I left her on top of a car one time, y'all. Just... Now, in my defense, she was 17 years old at the time, and I told her twice to get down. <laughs> and the boy, the boy's always been my helper. You know, now he's a grown man, too, and I'm proud of the man that I raised. He's, yeah, thank you. 
He's six foot three now, and I'm proud of the man that he's become. And him and his wife are gonna have a baby this fall. That's pretty cool, everybody. Yeah. So, uh, but when he was little, I used to call him my little shadow, you know, because I don't know if you have a son out there, daddies, but there's nothing better than a little shadow, especially especially when you're surrounded by so many females in that house. And uh, everywhere I went, that boy went, right? Yeah, that's why he's my, and when me and my wife got married, we could barely afford this little old house, this little two-bedroom bungalow, and I had to redo the whole thing, tore down the studs and stuff, even redid the electricity in that house, and I, I had no idea what I was doing either. <laughs> This is way back before Google, so it was trial and error at best. But there that shadow was right behind his daddy. Yeah, I had on my tool belt working on the electricity. He had on his tool belt working on electricity. I had a little buck crack showing. He had a smaller buck crack showing. <laughs> working them tools. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Come on, boy. Yeah. So. And he helped me with electricity, so the first five years of his life, he walked with a twitch, y'all. Just... <laughs> no, even now, you sneak up behind Jacob, flip on light, he'll pee a little bit. He will. <laughs> He might not know the difference between red and blue, but he knows the difference between a 110 and a 220. I guarantee it. Daddy, that 220 will take your shoes off. <laughs> Parents don't raise kids like that anymore. My, my next door neighbor got a three-year-old son. They went through the entire house, put little plastic caps on every one of the electrical sockets because he stuck a penny in there, and we don't want him to do that again. <laughs> I said, you got to see if he'll do it again. <laughs> the boy does it two times. He's got a learning disability. <laughs> He does it three times, you might have to send him to a special school. That boy does it four times, you have him grow up and run for Congress. 